Good morning. We are where Kevin and I recorded Father's Day last year because it is Father's Day on Sunday. And we're just a couple of dads, you know, showing off our, our fashion <laughs> as dads. 100%. <laughs> Tell you, us about this are, fashion here. We Chris. are dads in the woods. Yes. Getting yes. ready for Father's Day. <laughs> yeah. So. so. You, well, the, the, what else are we going to say? You know, <laughs> we're, so, we're honoring Father's Day. Yes. We are, yeah. of course, picking apart some stereotypes. Yep. And if you're like, what? You are? That's just how I dress? <laughs> we love you. That, That's all we're going to say about because that. Because we're dads and we just do what we do, right? So I've begun yeah. to wonder if the... So here's how this started. Uh, I get an email from a, I won't, I won't pick up part of company, but a company that is, they, they include all kinds of gear, yeah. clothing and accessories as some of their line. And they were highlighting father's day and it was all socks and sandals, socks and sandals, socks and sandals. And we went, Hey, now <laughs> that's a little too, yeah. what are you doing there? And we thought maybe we should just embrace it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's time just to <laughs> lean into it. There is something about socks and sandals yeah. that we should do. Oh yeah. And yeah. so here yeah. we are getting ready for father's day, embracing the socks and sandals, the socks and sandals. <laughs> so happy father's day. Just a reminder that uh, you can celebrate your dad's uh, on Sunday. Uh, we want to think back on Sunday like we do. Uh, Richard brought the message from Philippians 1 and it was really powerful to, for me for to me to live as Christ and to die as gain and, and just yeah. um, his personal touch on that and uh, it just started to make me think and so maybe I'll tell a little bit about what I was thinking and then you can expand yeah, on that a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know what does it look like for me to live as Christ. Uh, I know in my head that I want that to be my priority. I, I, I trust Jesus. I, I, I acknowledge that. I confess that. But uh, what, what was challenging to me is what, what does my life, how does my re life reflect that priority it, mm -hmm. it, because really what my priorities truly are is what my what I do right what what how I live and so uh, for me uh, just in general terms um, I was starting to think okay if I were to show somebody my my uh, checkbook you know or my uh, my MasterCard statement uh, would... I was gonna say checkbook <laughs> yeah. what's a checkbook <laughs> but yeah I'm no, embracing yeah, the dad again oh, no. right, 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 yeah. <laughs> so uh, would would that um, would that be, would that come through? Yeah. Uh, if I were to show somebody my calendar, would that come through? Um, if somebody were to watch me or, or even just as I reflect, as I walk through my day, uh, what I'm doing and what I'm thinking about as I'm doing it, obviously people don't know uh, the background to all those decisions, but, but, but if, as I reflect, as I think about God watching and being a part of it, am I acknowledging his part of it? Am I, um, am I putting him first? So that's kind of what, mm. where, where it got me thinking and, and challenging me, you know, okay, what about this? So how about you? How would this yeah, I, I think of it in terms of a lot. I mean, absolutely. I think that's yeah. an important way to think about it. It's, it's not that I wouldn't I totally agree. I just would add that when I think about living to live is Christ, I just think, what am I already doing? Mm. And, but am I doing that? Mm -hmm. you know, mindful that I'm going to do it for Jesus. Yeah. So that's really good. when I mm -hmm. am in, you know, grocery shopping, when yeah. I'm in the Walmart and I'm just grabbing milk, how, how is that? How am I living for Jesus in that moment? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it might, most days probably doesn't look any different than mm -hmm. now. Maybe it shouldn't ever look any different than any other day. Right? Like, what does it mean? Well, I'm going to be courteous to people. Yeah. I'm going to treat yeah. people the way Jesus would treat them. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, uh, whatever else, not getting into parking lot road rage, like those yeah. sorts of things, yeah. um, is all I think an important. So we're not, and, and the other thing I would just add is we're not biding our time. And I appreciated that, that Richard even tried to touch on this too. We're not just biding our time for Jesus until we get somewhere better, yeah, yeah. but it's like, no, the everyday stuff of life needs to be lived 
on purpose for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so when we're out in the woods making fun of how dads dress, we're doing that for Jesus uh, or we're whatever, right? We're answering those emails for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And and I think you and I, it's probably a little more obvious that Mm -hmm. we should be doing that, but it's not just something for pastors. It's not just something for, you know, missionaries. It's not Mm -hmm. just something for even the, you know, deacons and elders, but Paul was writing that for everybody in the church yeah and we're all to live that way for jesus and so that's kind of some of the way places where my mind starts to go with that as i think about you know applying it to life um and then adding to it as fathers that we instill that in our children yeah that that you know as a family this isn't just something that we do as individuals but as a family we're going to plan our vacations in such a way that you know that Jesus would be honored. Of course, mm. we probably do a lot of the same stuff yep. as anybody else, yep. but uh, we're not just doing it. F- we're not just living for self. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, whatever, live all the yeah. rest of life in that way. Yeah, because it really is a heart thing. Actually, we're gonna talk about that a little bit on Sunday. So, yeah. uh, so there's a uh, not this Sunday, the next Sunday. So the next Sunday, a little, okay. The teaser, as we so, get into July. Yeah. So now, as we. Um, or, or, or the end of June and, and then July. Yeah. One. There's still two weeks of June. I know. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> you do what I do I so just often. I lost Wait, a week where there. am I? Yeah. Uh, so, um, but that brings a good uh, segue to uh, Sunday. Mm-hmm. This Sunday is, uh, as we said, Father's Day. Yep. Uh, children are going to be, you know, tell us what children are going to so, be doing. So, yeah, kids uh, on Sunday will be, you know, dismissed during the service like normal. Mm-hmm. But instead of just going down the hall and having our class, we're going to... Um, do work on a project. We've been talking mm-hmm. about backpacks. We've yeah. been uh, encouraging you, inviting you to bring in and donate backpacks. Mm-hmm. On Sunday, our kids are going to stuff them. They're, you know, they're going to put together the the pencil cases with all the stuff that goes in there and fill the backpacks so that there's some school supplies sent off with each of these two. So that when, whether they're at school or at home working on homework, there's just some supplies to help with their studies. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, which is a bit of a reminder, you, you know, we still could use some backpacks. We still appreciate that. Um, love to have them in anytime. You know, we'll make sure they get there. Event, you know, but uh, we will be stuffing starting Sunday. Yeah. And so I don't know if we'll finish them all, yeah. but uh, we'll at least get started. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that's a great project, and uh, mm-hmm. and it's good for the for the for for kids to be serving our. Uh, community and and for us to and, all be involved so, and their peers yeah. right yeah, it's, yeah peers, which is the right. cool thing that's that really it's, neat it's yeah. they're doing it for people yeah. like them yeah mm-hmm. awesome uh at the same time um we're going to have a special guest on Sunday, John Chalkis from Seeds of Hope. We've uh, talked about him a few times coming up uh, so that you know that uh, that he's coming. He's going to tell us a little bit about some of what's happening around the world with Seeds of Hope and what we're invited into with Seeds of Hope. So uh, we're excited to, to have him and to hear about that on Sunday. So, uh, so have uh, be there. Uh, Kevin's not with us today. This is where we recorded co- uh, Father's Day mm-hmm. last year, and he will show up on Sunday. Oh, in an right. interesting way. So, uh, so like a hologram? Uh, well, you, not quite. Let's just leave it to their imagination. Okay, we don't so quite we... have hologram budget. <laughs> I get you. All right. So, uh, but um, yeah, so there's a lot of cool things happening Very this good. Sunday. So, uh, so come and find out uh, yeah. all about that. Um, the following Sunday is a special day as well, and maybe I shouldn't talk about that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, sure. Um, I, I. You don't, don't have to give details. Just okay, good. Because yeah, I don't yeah. know all the details. But here's here's yeah. what uh, what we're going to be working on for that Sunday. Uh, as you know, Jeff has been with us for some time, mm-hmm. like a year and a half. Yeah, almost. Right. Yeah. A year and a half. Yeah. And we can talk about normal all day and we can go, oh, we wish it was normal. It wasn't normal when Jeff came. And so as a result, one of the, I think, significant aspects of hiring a pastor is actually a celebration Mm -hmm. Sunday Mm -hmm. to, you know, commemorate that. And at the time, it, we weren't all able to meet together. Right. Uh, we were limited in capacity, and leadership thought we should wait until we can have anybody who wants to come and be part of that come and be part of that. Mm-hmm. And so 
that's going to be on June 26th. Yep. And so that's that. So if you want to, I mean, you've probably met Jeff already, most <laughs> of you, unless you're, you know, uh, from out of town joining us. But uh, um, it's an opportunity to come, and we've got um, we got special guests coming. Bob Cron, our regional minister, is going to be part of that service too. Uh, one of the key elements of it is a. We call it a covenant service where there's the congregation commits to uphold Jeff as our pastor, really, to kind of mm-hmm. keep you in prayer. And, uh, and and we mark that. And so that's what we are going to be doing on the 26th. And we invite you to come uh, be part of it online if you, that's all you're able to do or come and be part of it in person. And uh, we're looking forward to a, a morning celebration where we uh, instead of, I guess, saying, hey, this is the start of something. It's the continuation. Mm, yeah. But it, it's yeah. really it's really an opportunity opportunity to praise God. Hey, it's been a good year and a half Mm. and we're excited for what will come in the Mm -hmm. future. Yeah. And that's what we want to mark and celebrate on the 26th. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, and then just the last thing is, uh, remember that all through June, we're going to the park after uh, yes. Galatly Nut Farm um, after the service. So this Sunday, we'll go down um, after the service and uh, bring your lunch. And we had Nine Square last year, uh, last week, and we we, we all played a lot on Nine Square. Uh, some of the kids went out in the water. It was a beautiful and, uh, afternoon. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So we, we were ate just, cake. Yeah, we ate cake for the grads. And then tried and, to play Nine yeah. Square, and that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. And uh, it was good. So this Sunday we'll be back there again. Bring bring a chair, bring uh, um, some food, and uh, and just enjoy being together. Um, you don't have to stay for Nine Square. You don't have to stay for all that stuff. Not everybody did, but but it was fun just to be together. And uh, so yeah, hope you have a great week. Hope you can get out and enjoy the, the sunshine a little bit today. And uh, God bless. And like prop the <laughs> right yeah, like we, we had just a moment yeah, of like just yeah, kind of like yeah.